Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Dudical, and I've decided. I've come to the realization that I need to start a series on one of my favorite games. This is Bloons, Tower Defense 5. Bloons in general has been a game I've been playing since high school, alright? That's a long time ago, man. Okay, that's a really, really long time ago. Really long time ago. Really long time ago. Anyway. I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to play every single track on impoppable difficulty. And I am no professional. I will almost certainly die many, many times. However, I'm going to do whatever it takes, whether that be farms or secret agents or restarting or, you know, continuing even. Doesn't matter. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. All right. And as you can see, I'm playing on mastery difficulty I've already beat everything on normal so I'm gonna play on mastery I've still got a few left on mastery let's see uh, yeah I've done all the expert and extremes I like to start at the end and work my way forward I actually think these beginner maps are the most fun because they have the most track they're all windy and twisty okay I'm gonna do reverse as well because I prefer this track reversed let's do this here we go. Are you ready? Are you excited? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. I am playing with many, uh, most of the lab upgrades. And I am going to go all out with special agents. Because this is the hardest difficulty in the game. It is very unforgiving. As you can see, there's only one life, so... Unforgiving might not even be a good term for it. I think it's just no forgiveness at all. It's just there is no forgiveness to be had. And, uh, yeah. You, you're going to get nothing and you're going to like it. <laughs> I'll put one of them there, I guess. As I told you before, I am not the best at this game. So you might watch me fumble through some things. You might watch me lose over and over again. That's just the way it is. Nobody's perfect. Certainly not me. So. I really like these special agents. And I think, personally, my favorite strategy is put as many special agents down as you think you need. And then try to just use special agents for as long as possible. Really, as long as possible. Because I can then channel all my money into these farms. I'll get a couple of these farms, upgrade them. I like to get the farm at least up to level 2 before I build a new one. A level 1 farm and a level 2 farm are basically, they're making very, very little. So I guess this is technically level 3, right? Because there's the standard and then 1 upgrade and then 2 upgrades. So you could say this is a this is a 2-0 but you could say it's a three because it's, it, it has a, a spawning with the first one. Does that even make sense? I don't know what I'm talking about. I got the turtle on last and I got the spy on strong. I think that's a pretty good setup there. Obviously the spy, if you don't know already, the spy um, allows the towers within its radius to see invisible stuff. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice little addition there to those towers around it. I gotta say, the turtle is by far my favorite special agent. I mean, it's it's great. You can put it on land, you can put it on water. It shoots a spear in one hand and it has a coconut in the other hand. And something you need to know about this game is that there's different balloon types. And the balloons, they're real sneaky, okay? And so white balloons can't be frozen. Black balloons cannot be exploded. And uh, metal balloons cannot be popped. So the fact that he throws a dart and a bomb means that he can pop every type of balloon in the game. Which makes, makes him very powerful. I believe the beekeeper can only pop things. Because it shoots out bees, right? Bees sting. That makes sense. I'm not crazy, I promise. 
All right, making some ridiculous money now with the uh, with these uh, farms. Oh yeah, this grotesque money. All right. Okay, making too much money almost. Uh, oh, yeah, it's disgusting. How can I live with myself making so much money? I'm gonna let's just use this uh, map as a showcase, and then I'm gonna set a rule for myself in the preceding games. The rule will be that I can only use as many farms uh, as there as the difficulty I'm playing on. So for example on beginner difficulty I can only use one farm, uh, intermediate two, advanced three, you know what I mean. So this is my favorite tower in the game, the Monkey Ace, it's a 4-2 uh, Monkey Ace upgrade. And it's the Flying Fortress. And it has the same thing that the turtle has. It shoots a popping and an exploding projectile at the same time. And I think that's the reason that these towers will almost always have the most kills. I mean, you have to start using things like, um, like, uh, what's it called? You basically have to start using things like uh, sun gods. Sorry, I couldn't forget. Couldn't remember the name. You have to start using sun gods before you get a tower that will get more kills than those. Let's go ahead and get a ray of doom. This is just too easy, isn't it? It's just too easy. Let's let's restart. It's just too easy. All right. Let's have a similar start. Only this time, I will limit myself. to one farm. Oops, no, I don't need those. One farm. All right, and where's my meerkat? I think this is, this is better. You know, when you just pile a bunch of uh, farms out there, it just is just too OP, honestly. All right. Hmm. Want to get weird? Let's get weird. Let's uh. Let's put a submarine out here. <laughs> because why not? That's why. Let's put on strongest. The submarines are a nice addition to your lineup because uh, with these upgrades, they can shoot at any other. They can shoot any balloons that are within the range of any other tower. So they can shoot anything within this range, anything within this range, this range. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. As far as the bushes go, they're kind of like a, a self-generating spike strip. Oh, road spike, sorry. Uh, every turn they generate five of these little thorns and each one pops five balloons I think and the bush itself also gains I think a couple of these thorns I'm not really sure what the metrics are on this all I know is that each of these bushes can take like a, a maybe a couple hundred balloons I think they max out at about 200 thorns 200 pops whatever you know what I mean This game is, like, seriously important to me. <laughs> um, not just because it's a great waste of time, it's a fantastic way to spend an hour or two, but I've been playing this game since freshman year of high school, which is, god, 2005, 2004? So, like, 14 years I've been playing this game because uh, I'm filming this in 2018. I can't believe it's 2018. God, the Mayans were way off. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I remember in high school, we would, we would compete, me and lots and lots of other students, 
to see who could be the first one to beat the game on various difficulties. This is back, this is the first Bloons. This is Bloons original, uh, which was just a browser game back in the day when browser games weren't filled with in in-game purchases before they were ruined with with that let's not let's not get off track here though let's remain focused so back in the day you could play games for free on browsers and this was at least in my school this was the most popular game and uh, the original version was so hard, it was unbelievable. It, it was one of the hardest games I had ever played. Like, you had to do things, you really had to do things perfectly. Otherwise, you had no chance of, of winning. And it was kind of cool, honestly. Not When I say perfectly, I mean like, you build exactly the right tower in exactly the right place make sure it's not off even by a little bit on hard difficulty I mean you need to do things flawlessly to win which you know the game still has touches of that I'm playing with a lot of upgrades right now if I was playing with no upgrades at all I probably would have lost already <laughs> but this is gonna be a long series and so if I play with no upgrades you would see me dying hundreds of times which we can do. We can do that with some of the other uh, maps. Some of the maps that I really love. This is one of them, honestly. This is one of my favorite maps. So in the future, I promise, I'll make some videos where I have no upgrades, where I'm as weak as possible, and I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, and then we'll see how far I get. And maybe I'll even try it with no special agents as well. I guess I will have to wanna... Look how many kills this meerkat has. It's amazing. I mean, sorry, turtle. Not meerkat. Meerkat has 2200. Not bad. I use this special ability because uh, he just wants to feel included. You know? <laughs> this airplane rocks. Round 41. Almost halfway done. How do you think I'm doing? This is the easiest map, so we can expect some more resistance later on. But they haven't gotten very far. And this is on mastery difficulty too. Alright, man. Uh, what are the towers that are low? You know, I like the engineer. I have to say though, I'm a little bit OCD, and these... these uh, sentries spawning and despawning all over the place, they always seem to spawn exactly where I want to put a tower. So, he's kind of annoying in that regard, honestly. I think this is a great combination. The helicopter and the monkey ace. The monkey ace gets a lot more kills, but I think the helicopter... You know, I don't know, I think the helicopter is definitely cheaper. That's something, that's something that's very important. Until you get the fourth upgrade, it's a fraction of the cost. And uh, it's pretty good for the money. And it follows the targets around. That's important. That's something that both of them have. Because of their features, I mean, the, the ace can shoot anything on the map. And the helicopter follows everything around. And because of these features, they basically have infinite range. And uh, range is a big part of this game really big part. Can't be underestimated. You know, the spike factories are something that I'm always tempted to build. They're just not that good. I don't know what it is. They're just not that good. I wish they were better. Believe me, I do. Uh, I wish they were better. I, I want to use them. But <laughs> just not that good. Even when they're max upgraded. Let's see. Let's just build a little bit of everything. Let's go ahead and get a sniper. Let's go ahead and get a, a stun lock bomb tower. Let's get um, a fire thingy. And let's get a frost thingy. Let's go for that one. And let's go for a viral frost 
right here. Oh yeah. Let's do a uh, tornado man over there. And let's do a fire guy right here. Cool. I'm kind of just going for all the towers. Why not, right? Why not? I almost never use this guy. The reason I... Look how many abilities I have right now. Let's just use them all. <laughs> the reason I don't is because, honestly, this is the only form of him I like. Where he has these glaives spinning around him. Because these glaives are incredibly powerful. However, the glaives have one major drawback. The major drawback is that they spin only in one direction. You can't change the spin direction. Because of that, as you can see, this glaive is spinning count or spinning clockwise. And the balloons will come down the track and will oppose the spin of the glaives. That is optimal. Because then you're getting maximum glaive on balloon contact. However, if you spin this around, because I have this on reverse right now, if you have the balloons coming from the other direction and they follow this track, then they're going in the same direction as the glaives, and the glaives get only a fraction of the kills that they would otherwise. So that's a big problem with the glaive tower. Not to mention this guy that throws his uh, his boomerang, just it doesn't get a lot of kills, man. Like, look at the ace, 160,000, man. Let's go back to, like, Viral Frost, which is one of the best towers in the game, but terrible against blimps. Very little. Very little. 2,000 over here. 2,000. Meerkat, 4. 12 for the turtle. Alright. 57 for the helicopter pilot. 180,000. For the, uh... 10,000 for the village. That's good. I like that village upgrade. But 200,000 effort. Look at it. He just gets so many kills. It's insane. Genocidal. Genocide of all blunds. Of all blunds, I say. All blunds with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, this, this has turned into a mess, hasn't it? Let's go ahead and uh, let's get an aircraft carrier. Bam. Aircraft carrier. Just like that. Let's put him on strongest. These are pretty strong too. It's a pretty strong tower. It's really expensive. I wouldn't say it's worth the money. You know, it's only a couple thousand gold. Gold. It's only a couple thousand dollars less than the ace, and it's just way less useful. You might have noticed that I haven't built any super monkeys. You know, I have to be honest, I kind of have an aversion to super monkeys. I think they're sort of, uh, cheap. <laughs> I think they're sort of cheap, honestly. I do. Okay, in the next map, I'm going to make it only monkeys. I'm only allowed to use monkeys. So that includes no village. And no ace. None of that stuff. Does the submarine count as a monkey? Because it has a monkey right there. I'm not going to use it. Because it's a submarine. It, yeah, the aircraft carrier has a monkey too, but it is an aircraft carrier. Okay. Let's just use all the abilities every now and then. <laughs> Man, this game is, uh... I think it's too easy with all the upgrades. I'm gonna have to turn off some of the upgrades for the next game. I'm gonna have to do it, man. I'm gonna have to do it! Alright, man. These balloons are coming to get me. Nothing I can do about it. Help me. Help me. The balloons are coming to get me. Let's see. Uh, what am I missing? I guess I could do one of these. Engineer. I usually don't go to the right. I usually go to the left because the box upgrade is really good. However, um, I don't feel like clicking the box. And so it doesn't matter. Oh, man. My computer can't handle this. <laughs> All these abilities. I wonder if I could beat the entire level with just special agents. 
That would be expensive. <laughs> but you know what? I've got a few dollars. So maybe I could. I would have to use the Bloom's Day device quite a lot. Most likely. Most likely. But hey, you know, maybe I could. Maybe I will give that a shot. <laughs> Seventy-nine. Round seventy-nine. Things are getting cray cray. Things things is getting totes cray cray. OMG. What the WTF is going on? Oh my OMG god. This is totes cray cray. Is that annoying yet? It's pretty annoying. I'm annoyed by it, and I'm saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I want this game to go to VR. I want virtual reality balloons where I am the monkey. Become the monkey. Want to see a balloons day device? Let's go ahead and use one of these. There's a slight delay. There you go. But it kills stuff dead. It, it does pretty good. I actually have no idea if it's going to... Whoa, I got 23,000 kills. Yeah, it is pretty damn good. Die, you bloons! Die, you evil bloons! You know what? I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it! Use all the abilities! I have too many now. It's like annoying. It's like, what am I gonna do with all these abilities? God! <laughs> oh man. You know, 84 is always more difficult than 85, I swear. Wait, just wait until 85. Uh, <clears throat> 85. The balloons are not going to make it that far. See? 84 is always more difficult. I don't understand why. It doesn't make any sense. Congratulations, you've defeated. You've mastered this track on unstoppable difficulty. I'm the best. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the next video. In the next video, we're doing present delivery. All right? I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. And uh, you know what? If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you really like it. If you don't like it, then leave a mean comment down below. I love... I love to uh, read them and cry. So I'll see you guys later.